Hey guys, by the way, kill this right here. And I'll be giving you guys a tour of my international space station. There's files, so now we have that. Let's this is just a free, free cap. There we go. Alright, so move back here. See back here in the progress. Just got to bump in the areas. See that's how it's docked there. And if this portion of the progress is pressurized. So you can secure yourself there. You can see the two engines on its face dock. Is loading uh, probably because of some s could be anyway, those are the engines. But oh, I think they were actually designed to be able to reboost if there's no progress. Let's see the solar rays on the mirror. We're approaching the crater. Which is, you know, not that easy. It doesn't happen often because we are, you know, we are on a 51.65 degree trajectory. Note, new mirror panels for Zvezda. I think Zvezda. There's the piers. Empty because progress on, I think it was a 27 that failed. Yeah, it was a 27 that failed. Because that would have gone there. That's the air like that's how we'll get back inside. We have Poisk up here. Here's came first. Where's no, no, this side was DMA. If I remember correctly, this would be the next one to decouple. It will bring um March I because it's about time twenty five. You can see this is Zadia, right? These panels are attractive because of those things. Again, RCS. And then here we have Rasfiet, which is a small laboratory. And we have a Sayuz attached to it. This is where uh, so use TMA 13M docked. I'm saying that because that was the first service launch I saw. I had that recorded, and it was also the first landing I saw. Anyway, we're moving on to node one. You can see the PMA. I'm going to pick up the node. This is Unity. We have the Z1 truss. Just already has docking for, so I didn't need to put that on. If I press up, oh, I don't break. break. Okay, it didn't break. Now we just have that piece of space debris. And that's okay because our Kerber will gladly move it out of the way and away from the station. Yep, you can see that's. So the mesh of the sucker up. Well, since it's spinning, it will collide with the quest airlock. But it's moving away from the station. Good. Now, this the quest airlock where the Americans perform EVAs from. But there's no handrails there. Uh, no, no, probably. 
Unfortunately, there's no. This is this does not have crew capabilities, so there's no actual hatch. As you can see, although you could pretend to go in there, but well, we're not. Now fly over to Tranquility. I think when we're moving around, Trust will climb along. Well, the crater right now. Dude, there's a small CVM. Well, not a small CVM, it's a regular size CVM. There. You can tell this is. The, he's Russian. He's playing the role of Kornienko. Mikhail Kornienko. He's playing the role of Scott Kent. And see, also, this is Tranquility Note 3. Not too slow on the front. So just CBMs. Then the PMA. We've got the cupola. Which is currently unoccupied. Those are actually working handrails. And the PMM Leonardo was previously here. But it was on well it was taken by the Canada arm. Which we don't have on this because it hasn't been updated yet. There's the docking port. And we'll save from here. Rotating attach. So Destiny, the American Laboratory. And then we have Columbus, which is upside down. But that was because I had no texture on it when I was building it. We got note 2. Then we've got Kibo. I really hope this does have to grapple. Yeah, not grapple the grabby. Quite just here. No, 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 no. There we go. I want to conserve some. Okay, just leap off. Now we're going to get a closer look at the experiments. See there's the airlock of Kipo. It's obviously not used for EVA, it's for putting small experiments like those out. Don't hit the arm. The arm doesn't the mesh. You know what I said? Don't hit the arm. Precious train to that. This solid. Yes, it is. Stop here. Stop. No. There's another PMA there. Also, the PME from will be moved from here to here. Now, time to head back to Piers. Oh no, wait, I need to show you guys tr the truss. It's okay, that's the S0. I'm not going to worry too much about S0 because there's not a lot going on there. I'll just connect some modules. 
Okay, quick. There we go. Alright, so we're going to climb. Yes, here. This is this is where all the trusts are connected to there, and all the waste heat gets expelled from these are the radiators. These are We're going to have to move past these. And then we have the huge solar arrays. We're not going to fire thrusters. For only going to use it, only going to use our thrusters as little as possible. Anyway, these are too big. Four. To well, technically speaking, it's eight panels on this side, so sixteen of these huge panels altogether. I said very limited use of of the thrusters while well, we're near the panels and that way. I'm going to ingress into piers and I'll transfer my curve into back to into the cupola, I think. Those are, oh, I said not deployed because of those. I managed to do this without wasting too much EVA per pound. Only a bit more than two units. This is no IVA, so that's for to Cooper. Wait, watch this. Um, it doesn't actually have good really. Anyway, off. You can see Kipo there. No, two destiny. That's unity. You can see that the crossings just barely make a quest. And of oh, yeah, there's that docking port. And there's you can just see the bottom of the site was. You can see the shutters. So that was the ISS. I'm Martin25. Goodbye.